ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Wendy Williams situation. So if you guys do not know, earlier today, Wendy Williams let out a tearful plea on her show where she just decided to admit to the world that she's not going home after the show, but that she's been living in a sober living home, okay? And that basically, you know, she had struggles in the past with cocaine and that she never went to a place to get treatment. And I think because she's having issues again, she wanted to go and get treatment. So after work, she goes to a sober living house and she's there and the people at the sober living house have become like her siblings, her little brothers and sisters, lights out at 10 o'clock. So this was a really interesting revelation. I want you guys to go ahead and listen to this audio and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. The truth, oh. Um. You know, Kevin, Kevin and I have the Hunter Foundation for the good of the people, and we recently launched our 8885 uh, Hunter number for those of you caught up in the struggle of addiction. Well, for some time now, and even today and beyond, I have been living in a sober house. When you see me come to work, glammed up right after the show I go across the street I do my Pilates I told you two hours a day I like to take care of my body and you know I've had a struggle with cocaine in my past and I never went to a place to get the treatment I don't know how except God was sitting on my shoulder and I just stopped but um, there are people in your family it might be you who've been struggling and I wanted to know more of the story. So this is my autobiographical story and I'm living it and I'm telling you this. After I go to the Pilates, I go to several meetings all around town in the tri-state area and I see my brothers and sisters caught up in their addiction and looking for help. They don't know I'm Wendy. They don't care I'm Wendy. There's no autographs, there's no nothing. It's the brothers and sisters caught up in the struggle. And it's been, it's been really interesting, um, this ride. Only Kevin and Kevin have known about this. Uh, not my parents, nobody, nobody knew. <clears throat> Cause I look so glamorous out here. But after I finish my, after I finish my um, appointments, seeing my brothers and sisters and you know, breaking bread. I am driven by my 24 hour sober coach back to a home that I live in here in the South, I mean in the tri-state with um, a bunch of smelly boys who've become my family. Um, They hog the TV and watch soccer. And we talk and read and talk and read and then I get bored with them. Doors locked by 10 p.m. Lights out by 10 p.m. So I go to my room and I stare at the ceiling and I fall asleep to wake up to come back here to see you. So that is my truth. And, um, eh. if you, or I know, I know. Either you're calling me crazy or the bravest woman you know, I don't care. Um, If you or someone you know, our Hunter Foundation just launched last week. We have already successfully placed 56 people in recovery centers around the world, not just the country. It's a 24 hour hotline, seven days a week. Call 888-5-HUNTER. All right, so you guys just heard what Wendy Williams had to say. So a lot of people are blaming her husband, Kevin Hunter. They're saying it's his fault, you know, that Wendy's in sober living. He must have did something to her. You know, I don't know the ins and outs of their relationship. All we have is speculation. But I'm not going to put all the blame on Kevin. I'm not going to say it's just solely his fault. At the end of the day, I've been covering this whole Wendy situation from day one, from her slurring her words, her just going through stuff. And then we had the whole situation where 
she supposedly broke her shoulder. Then she said she was on pain medicine. Um, but even with everything she said on the show, she never came out and admitted, you know, was she on drugs? Was she back doing cocaine? She didn't really say why she was in sober living. You know, she drinking alcohol were bad. We don't know. But I really feel like the reason why she's coming out with this is because the secret is out behind the scenes. If you guys don't know, y'all know Howard Stern is dirty, honey. He, he has a lot of tea on people. I think Howard Stern may have been ready to, you know, basically leak the information or use it against her. So she finally decided to just be honest and tell people what was going on. Because if you guys don't know, one of my subscribers, shout out to you, she DM'd me and we were talking. And she said, do you remember two weeks ago when DJ Envy accidentally busted her out on The Breakfast Club? And I was like, you know what? Send me the link. And I went back and I listened to it. And sure enough, two weeks ago when Wendy Williams first came back, and they were all, you know, talking about the situation, DJ Envy has a Floridian slip. And he basically says rehab. And people are like, hold up, did he say rehab? And then he catches himself. Y'all go ahead and listen to this really closely, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. He's going to be back on her show. Uh, first, she took a three-week hiatus, and then that got extended and extended, but now she's back today. I wonder if she's going to address any of her own drama. I don't see how you can't. Yeah, it's going to be very she awkward has to. Uh, to discuss, like, Tristan Thompson cheating when for the past couple of months she's had to deal with those allegations in her own marriage. Right? Yeah, and but she didn't say she was in... Re she, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. She didn't say what? Nothing. Go ahead. Well, you know, they said she's been having issues. All right, so you guys just heard what DJ Envy had to say. So I think, you know, as far as the industry is concerned, this is not a secret. Most people in the industry knew that Wendy Williams was in some type of rehab. The industry is so small, word gets around town. And I feel like, you know, between DJ Envy's Feridian slip and, you know, Howard Stern coming for her damn neck, honey, because the way he was ranting and raving, you can tell he had some dirt and he had some tea on Wendy Williams, okay? Now, I will say this, you know, I appreciate her for being honest, somewhat honest, and sharing her story story because it's very difficult living in the public eye you know and that goes for her and that also goes for the celebrities that she reports on but what kind of bothered me with that situation is she really didn't fess up to anything she said she's living in sober living but she really didn't go into any details why are you there when did you you know start living there what made you come to that conclusion but most importantly what the fuck are you addicted to that you're in damn sober living is it alcohol is it crack cocaine is it you know e is it cocaine like 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 what is it and she never did that. All she did was imply, but never really went into details as to what it was. And, you know, granted, if this was anybody else that she was spilling tea on or gossiping about, she'd be asking the same question that I'm asking. You know, it's like, so what really is wrong? What are you addicted to? You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, like I always say, we're all humans. Nobody's perfect. We all go through our trials and tribulations. And um, I just think that she's been going through a lot, not only in her relationship, but um, just in life in general with her health. So I think Wendy has a lot on her plate. And maybe with everything on her plate, the issues with her husband, the infidelity rumors, all that stuff, it's taking a toll on her. And so she feels that the best thing for her to do is is to go to rehab and check herself um, into sober living, then I stand with her 100%. Because at the end of the day, you know, even if she doesn't go into detail and tell us, you know, the ins and outs of what's going on with her, the fact that she realized that she had a problem and instead of ignoring it like she had been doing, you know, popping pills or whatever she's taking and then trying to do interviews and trying to carry on a show. And that really affected her and, and it really brought the show down with her antics, you know. So I'm glad that she saw where she was at. She saw what was going on. She saw that she was really slipping and she's decided to basically take personal responsibility and go get help. So for that, I can't do nothing but respect her. I hope that everything works out for Wendy because after all, she's the OG of this shit. So I'm always you know, have a level of respect for her. I hope everything works out for her. I hope she figures everything out. She says she's not leaving her husband. They're solid. That's her rock. You know, and if she likes it, I love it, okay? If other people can be with their cheating spouses or spouses who don't put them through shit, I can't judge her for the same thing. So I hope she gets the help that she needs. I hope everything ends up working for Wendy Williams. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. How do you feel about Wendy confessing and saying that she's been living in a sober um, house for the past, you know, few weeks? And then um, how do you guys feel about DJ Envy? What he had to say two weeks ago when he had that Floridian slip? You know, basically everything he said two weeks ago has come to pass. And do you agree with me that the reason why she's coming out and being honest about this situation is because 
because the industry behind the scenes is talking and Howard Stern seemed to be ready to leak some tea out on Wendy Williams. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy situation, honey, concerning Wendy Williams admitting to the world that she's living in sober living. She won't tell us why, but, you know, she did tell us that that's where she's staying. So let me know your thoughts on this situation. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.